let's talk about how your menstrual cycle works. So, if we look at your womb, I always say that this looks like a moose. There we go, there's your tubes, ovaries, and that's your womb here, and then goes down into your cervix there, and then this little cloud is your brain. Okay, so as you go through the month of your menstrual cycle, let's just draw this along here. You've got day zero, day seven, day 14, day 21, and day 28. Okay, and some people have longer cycles, so let's just put an extra day out there, and that goes to 35. Okay, so if you, day zero is always the first day that you bleed and so you bleed for that first little part and it sort of doesn't really matter how long you bleed for, whether it's two days or five days or seven days or ten. Okay. Um, when you start to bleed, your brain sends off this hormone called follicle stimulating hormone and that goes to your ovary and a little egg starts to develop So, or the, in the follicle. So the follicle stimulating hormone gets this follicle growing and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on, okay? So inside this follicle in here, so sitting in your ovary as it gets bigger, that starts to produce a hormone called estrogen. So your estrogen starts to go up like this over the month. And at some stage it gets to a certain point and your brain goes, oh, your follicles got big enough, there's lots and lots of hormone going on, and I'll send another hormone called luteinizing hormone, which goes to your ovary, and a big surge like this goes on, and your egg pops out, so out pops the egg and goes down your tube. And your egg trips on down your tube here over the next few days. So your estrogen carries on to a certain extent, um, your follicle also starts to produce some stuff because it's quite low at the beginning, some stuff called progesterone, and that gets quite high um, over that next little while. So this follicle can continues to get bigger and it's producing the progesterone. So let's write these down. So you've got estrogen that starts off and gets more and more, and then as soon as the egg pops out, you get this stuff called progesterone. So then, your egg carries on down. If it meets a sperm and implants, then these hormones will carry on because the follicle continues to get a little bit bigger and will keep the pregnancy going. If the egg doesn't become fertile, it will just disappear and your brain will go, oh, everything's turned off and all these things will go back down to their normal level and the whole sequence starts again.